We start, as always, with tomorrow's front pages and uh, we'll lead with the Daily Mail first, which has Rwanda plan to smash the channel gangs. And that's a story we'll be looking at. Dramatic migrant blueprint unveiled today. Many asylum seekers to be sent to Africa for processing. Um, on to the Daily Telegraph, which has the same story, channel migrants to be set, sent to Rwanda. And it also has Minister Quits over PM's credibility to lead. That's the Justice Minister. We'll be looking at that story. And also we'll be looking at this story. Graduates facing a £3,000 stealth raid on incomes. On to the Independent. Party gate blow to PM as Minister quits and cruel deal to send UK asylum seekers to Africa. <coughs> the Guardian, uh, Johnson may face three more fines in party scandal and asylum seekers could be sent to Rwandan camps. And Jersey freezes 5.4 billion quids worth of Abramovich assets. Crikey, and that's just what he's got in Jersey. On to the Financial Times. Russian menace edges Finland and Sweden closer to NATO entry. That's a story we'll be looking at. And Jersey freezes $7 billion of assets linked to Abramovich as sanctions net tightens. The Mirror is next. Worst is to come, PM. Downing Street insider says, says he faces three more COVID fines. Bang to rights claim as the pressure grows on him to quit. I wonder if it's all this pressure that's led him to, to make the Rwandan announcement. Anyway, uh, that call me a cynic. On to the Express. PM, bold plan to send boats, uh, to send boat migrants to Rwanda. And finally, we have the star, Great Scott. <laughs> Space eggheads admit that time travel is possible. Wormholes could allow us to travel between worlds. In theory, we could go back in time and get a new PM. Huh. And those are the headlines.